Today let's look at decimal representation of rational numbers. As a definition, decimal representation of all rational numbers is either terminating or non-terminating recurring. Let's look at this through few examples. For example, if you divide 7 by 8, the answer that you get is 0.875. Let's look at the long division method. So here you see when we divide 7 by 8 after a point the remainder comes to 0. So there cannot be any further division after this point. So the answer that we get which is 0.875 is terminating. So this shows decimal representation of rational numbers is terminating. Let's look at another example which will show that decimal representation of rational numbers can also be non-terminating recurring. For example if you divide 8 by 3 let's look at the long division method. You will see that you always end up with the remainder 2. So you might follow as many steps the remainder will always be 2 and after decimal 6 starts repeating itself or we can say 6 is recurring after the decimal point so this shows decimal representation of rational numbers can also be non-terminating recurring now this repeated repetition of 6 can be simply written as 6 with a bar sign over it. So this is how we can represent non-terminating recurring decimal numbers. Now as a general rule for all rational numbers which have terminating decimal representation. So the point to be noted here is we're talking about only terminating decimal representations which are in the form of P by Q where Q is not equal to 0. P and Q are integers with no common factor other than 1 that is P and Q are in the simplest form in all such cases denominator Q must satisfy the following condition. So let's look at the condition. So the denominator Q should always be in the form of 2 raised to the power m multiplied by 5 raised to the power n where the factors of the denominator Q always need to be in the powers of 2 or powers of 5 or both that is prime factorization of Q should have only powers of 2 or powers of 5 or both for example 7 by 8 like we looked at in earlier example is a terminating decimal representation so the answer that we have is 0.875 let's apply the rule that we just discussed now 7 by 8 can be written as 7 divided by 2 raised to the power 3 because 8 can be written as 2 raised to the power 3. Multiplying numerator by 5 by 3 and denominator by 5 by 3, the answer in the numerator that we get is 875 and denominator can be simply written as 2 into 5 raised to the power 3. So we have applied uh, laws of exponents for real numbers here. So simplifying it further you get 875 divided by 10 raised to the power 3 which can be written as 875 divided by 1000 and the answer that you get is 0.875. Now let's look at how to convert a pure recurring decimal to the form of P by Q. Now pure recurring re decimals are those in which all digits after the decimal point are repeated. For example you have 0.6 with a bar sign over it so here 6 is repeating itself after the decimal point. 
0.16 with a bar sign over it or 0.123 with a bar sign over it. So all these are pure recurring decimals. Let's see how to convert these pure recurring decimals in the form of P by Q that is convert them into uh, fractions. Let's look at the steps. Now step 1 first of all we need to obtain the repeating decimal and we put it equal to X or we can put it to equal to any other variable that you want. In the step 2 we expand uh, X by removing bar sign for example X is equal to 0 0.8 bar can be written as 0 0.88888 and so on and so forth. In step 3 what we do is we multiply both sides by 10 if there is one place repetition for example here we have a one place repetition because 8 is being repeated after the decimal point we will multiply both sides by 100 if you have two place repetition for example uh, if it was 0.81 bar then we could have multiplied both sides by 100 similarly we can multiply by 1000 or depends how many uh, place repetition we have now next step that we do is we subtract the number in step 2 from the number in number step 3 and then we solve X and write it in simplest form. For example uh, let's express 0.6 bar in the form of P by Q. Now first of all let's put X is equal to 0.6 with a bar sign over it and when we expand this we get X is equal to 0.6666 and so on and so forth let's call this as equation 1. Now multiplying both sides by 10 on the left hand side you will get 10x and on the right hand side you get 6.666 so it's 10x equal to 6.666 so let's call this as equation 2. Now let's subtract equation 1 from equation 2 so we subtract x from 10x and we subtract 0.666 from 6.666 so subtracting 1 from 2 you get 9x is equal to 6 which gives x is equal to 6 by 9 so this is the answer that we are that we're looking for so here we have converted a pure recurring decimal 0.8 in the form of 6 by 9 which is a fraction. Thank you.